Guys, I'm sure to say we've been having a nice time in the history of anatomy, discovering every major sciences in anatomy one after the other. And um, today we'll be talking about John Evangelista Prokinje. Okay, we'll be talking about the biography of this scientist, okay? And uh, here it said how he was the first to describe the cell nuclear envelope, okay? But I'll be titling this video like his discoveries in science. Okay, biography of Evangelist, uh, Evangelista John Pockinger, okay, and his discoveries in science, okay. So on our screen here is the major man that we are talking about today in this lecture, that's um, John Evangelista. So John Evangelista Pockinger was born on December 17, 1787, a lot of sevens in his birthday, okay. So he was born in Libochovis, Bohemian, okay? That is now Czech Republic, okay? And he died 28 July 1869 in Prague, okay? So he pioneered Czech experimental, he's a pioneer Czech experimental physiologist whose investigation in the fields of histology embryology and pharmacology helped create a modern understanding of the eye and vision okay and also the brain and the heart okay and also mammalian reproduction and also composition of cells okay so he he made experiments on vision that's the eyes he made experiments on the brain too so made experiments on the heart made experiments on reproduction and made experiments on the composition of cells all right this was Definitely a great man of his time. So Pokinger's research at the University of Prague, okay, where he later served as a professor of physiology, led to his discovery of the phenomenon known as Pokinger effect, okay. So um, this Pokinger effect is um, as light inten as light intensity decreases, red objects are perceived to fade faster than blue objects of the same brightness, okay. So he was the one who discovered the Pockinger's effect and everything, okay? So moving forward, he said that his studies of human vision attracted the attention of German poet J.W. von Goethe, who befriended the Bohemian student and may have been instrumental in obtaining him the chair of physiology and pathology, okay? At the University of Breslau, Prussia, Prussia. okay? So there, Pockinger created the World's first independent department of physiology that was in 1839 and the first official physiological laboratory known as physiological institution okay that was in 1842 so uh, the first description of the nuclear envelope was accomplished by john evangelista pokinji okay all right a checks biologist okay and he did this in 1830 so Pockinger also introduced the term protoplasma all right in 1842 all right so this is him on our screen so moving from here you can see that he made a whole lot of discoveries okay so it is good to like term this lecture biography of john evangelista Pockinger and his discoveries okay or his contribution to science all right so that's it for this lecture and i'll be seeing you guys in the next dope scientists that actually contributed to the study of anatomy so bye for now